Hello everyone, this is a quick video on the basic concept that is used in object detection. So over here I have taken an example of two balls placed in green background. On the left side I have the frame and on the right side I have the mask. So what is mask? It is basically something that we obtain after thresholding. By this point I expect you to understand what is thresholding. In case you do not know, do not worry. I'll just leave down the link to my one of the previous videos on image thresholding. You can check that out and the link is in the description below this video. So after thresholding, we have a black and white image and that's the speciality of it. So the intensity values of a black and white image is either black. So black is 000 in RGB or either it is white that is 255, 255, 255 all the channels at maximum so it's either all the channels at zero that is black or all the channels at max that is white now let us define a function f of x comma y which returns the intensity value and that intensity will value is at uh, any coordinate that we feed feed to the function that is x comma y so for any input x comma y, f x comma y will return the corresponding intensity value. Now coordinates are always defined with respect to a set of a pair of axes and an origin. So I'll take my axis of y as vertically downwards and x as horizontally rightwards. Origin will be top left corner and this is not something random or something I made up. It is the standard that is used in OpenCV. Now, how do you uh, do the object detection? Well, if I were to derivate partially the function f of x comma y with respect to x, so what will this give me? It will just give me the change in function that is the intensity value with respect to x coordinate. And uh, x coordinate is nothing but delta x that is um, delta x. Uh, that is a change in function with respect to change in x coordinate. That is what partial derivative of f of x comma y with respect to x is. Now let's take any arbitrary point at a certain y and we move rightwards that is change only in x. So f of x comma y is at the moment white and it will stay white for entire of this region. The entire region between these two points has intensity value y so f of x comma y y is fixed and x as it moves from left to right that is as x increases um, uh, the intensity never changes the output is always white and it is a constant so derivative of a constant is zero partial derivative with respect to x is zero there is no change so since there is no change derivative is zero uh, but as soon as it reaches the edge case, on the left side, the intensity is white. On the right side, we have black. We have black intensity. So as we move from change x, that is the partial derivative with respect to x, uh, will uh, show that the intensity has changed from 255, that is white, to 0, that is black, for dx. So um, for del x, so df partial derivative is not zero at edge, clearly. Now it can be noted that as soon as we enter the ball region that is black, um, the intensity value again ceases to change with respect to change in x coordinate because now for a while um, there is just black for any change in a uh, small change in x so again um, partial derivative will be zero as long as we are in the ball the moment we are at the right edge of the ball where left is black and right is white again we will see a non-zero value and this time it will be uh, the negative uh, but same in magnitude but the point is that at edges the derivative is not equal to zero and when there is not edges, there are no, no edges, the derivative is equal to zero.
Now for different values of y when we do partial derivative with respect to x that is we move from left to right for different y values we will encounter h conditions and we will obtain the points like these. Now we can do the same for y coordinate that is we can do the partial derivative of uh, the function with respect to y and now we will again encounter the h, uh, h points and that will uh, just cover up if and uh, if some of the points are missing so this way we can do the edge detection and since we can do the edge detection we have done the object detection so there we have it this is the basic concept or idea that is used behind object detection now OpenCV does not use this as it is but make no mistake nonetheless this is the basic concept that is used. Now also note that a double derivative can be used in place of the single partial derivative. We can do the partial double derivative and it is advantageous actually in edge detection because it enhances the edge. So if the partial derivative is non-zero at some um, edge well the double derivative will be also non-zero but its magnitude will be even larger and so we if we have some value over here we will have some larger value over here the bigger value and this will help us this bigger value will help us easily spot the edge points and be more precise in spotting the noise so with that we are done with the basic concept of object detection in image processing However, in OpenCV, object detection will be done using contours. What are those? How are they similar to this? And how are they more efficient? Why are they more efficient? Why they are used in OpenCV? It's something you can look up on the internet. So thank you for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Do share with your friends who are also trying to get a grasp of image processing. And have a great day.